Did you know that some of the scariest things that happen in Stranger Things are actually based on real life events? Whew, the inhumanity. Riveted has all the details, so be prepared to pick your jaws up off the floor. Mind blowing CIA experiment. The idea of Stranger Things started with how the Duffer brothers felt they could take the concept of the 2013 film Prisoners, detailing the moral struggles a father goes through when his daughter is kidnapped and expanded out over eight or so hours in a serialized TV approach. As they focused on the missing child aspect of the story, they wanted to introduce the idea of childlike sensibilities they could offer and toyed around with the idea of a monster that could consume humans. We all agree that a lot of things in Stranger Things are not real. However, there are bits that were inspired by real-life events. In 2016, when Stranger Things made its debut, the creators of the show, Ross and Matt Duffer, also known as the Duffer Brothers, explained in an interview with Rolling Stone that they wanted the supernatural element of the show to be based on science in some way. So, the Duffer Brothers put together a real government project known as MK Ultra into Season 1 storyline. This formed the basis of Dr. Brenna's experiments on Eleven. MK Ultra was a project created in 1953 by the CIA with the aim of developing mind control techniques that could give America an advantage during the Cold War against its enemy, Russia. Some details of the project, though not all of them, were later revealed declassified by the CIA in documents. At first, it looked like a volunteer-based project, but soon changed into something far more disturbing. Unsuspecting volunteers were subjected to physical and mental abuse through sleep deprivation, psychedelic drugs, and other forms of experimental techniques. Operation Midnight Climax, which was one type of the experiment, secretly tested the effects of LSD on men who frequently visited brothels that were set up within agency safe houses in San Francisco. On Stranger Things, Eleven's mother acts as one of the MK Ultra test subjects while pregnant. Dr. Brenner used sensory deprivation and LSD to experiment on her, unknowingly gifting Eleven with psychic gifts. The project was later shut down in 1965 due to its dangerous nature, with many of the relevant documents destroyed. However, as we see in Stranger Things, some information leaked out and was used to inspire the unethical activities at Hawkins National Laboratory. The Montauk Project this project is as wild as you can imagine. Although it is less likely that this project was actually real, Matt and Ross Duffer still took bits of the project's stories to heart. A number of contentious experiments were conducted in the Montauk, New York area in the 1980s. Alfred Bilek, a man who was apparently involved in the project, pointed out that the experiments accidentally opened a hole in hyperspace between Montauk in the year 1983 and 1943. Alfred Bilek alleged that the experiment threatened to engulf part of the Earth. The only way to save the planet, according to Bilek, was to destroy all the equipment used for the project. Sounds weird, yeah, but one can't help to see the similarities between Stranger Things and the conspiracy theory. On the show, the experiments done on Eleven rip a hole in space, which in turn goes on to infect the town of Hawkins. In an attempt to save the town of Hawkins from destruction, Eleven and her friends close the gate. Wait, there's more. Violet claimed that his brother Duncan began to age rapidly because of the accident. They could only keep him alive by traveling back in time to persuade their parents to have another son, so as to transfer his soul into the new brother's body. As if that's not enough, Violet claims he can recall memories of life in the 28th century. We're not really sure about this, though, so we'll leave it for you to decide. Duncan began to manifest incredible psychic powers after the experiment. To this day, no one knows the real reason behind the powers. The book The Montauk Project, Experiments in Time, written by Preston B. Nicholas, narrates this occurrence in detail. Preston explains that Duncan used a device only known as the Montauk Chair to strengthen his abilities to a certain degree, where he could even materialize objects out of thin air. You will remember that in Stranger Things, Eleven, though not as strong as Duncan is said to have been, has some similarities with what Preston says about Duncan. Just like Eleven, Preston also claims that Duncan brought a monster into the world. The Beast, as Preston calls it, appeared after he and his fellow colleagues decided that they had had enough of the whole experiment. The monster didn't appear underground in the Null Point, it showed up somewhere on the base. It would eat anything it could find, and it smashed everything in sight. Several different people saw it, but almost everyone described a different beast. It was either 9 feet tall or 30 feet tall, depending on who saw it. The beast could only be defeated once all of the equipment used in the experiment done in Camp Hero was destroyed. This too sounds familiar. It's the reason why Matt and Ross Duffer wanted to name the show Montauk after the Montauk Project, but later settled for Stranger Things. In one of Bilek's interviews, he said they could go anywhere on Earth, and they went to the moon, Mars, and the whole galaxy. There was a unique program involving some research in 1983 when the station went down. It was resumed when the station was rebuilt in 1987. Then it was called Project Hellfire. Alfred was allegedly in charge of that phase of it, which involved retrieving an object from a planet on the other side of the galaxy, 120,000 light years away. 
It was highly specialized and is still highly classified. He gave a bit of insight into what is on Mars. Apparently, there are colonies there, but there is evidence that the colonies have been overrun and destroyed. Then he also explained why they were specifically interested in the moon. The moon is being mined by U.S. Russian interests and obviously some foreign interests in bringing titanium back. Alfred explained that the moon is an artificial object. It was built as a space vehicle by someone long ago and parked in orbit because they apparently had trouble with it. The story goes that whoever was in the original moon parked it there, built themselves a smaller moon object, and took off. There are stories in the Vedic literature that there were two moons around the Earth for a period of time. Prior to about 25,000 years or so ago, there was a moon in the Earth's orbit. It was brought in and parked. The people in Montauk Project have been up there, and the Russians are up there, and they are mining the backside for titanium. Real Russian Sci-Fi Experiments Teleportation is one thing that Russia has been experimenting on since 2016. The Stranger Things series has long established portals between different dimensions, with the ending primarily featuring one of the main characters appearing to have teleported from one region to another. Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2016 announced a multi-trillion pound project to invest in the country's technological development with the aim to develop teleportation by 2030. Although Soviet Union scientists might not have pulled monsters into the world from another dimension, they really did try to manufacture their own monster. A weird occurrence and one that was considered an abomination was the Human Z, which was a human-chimpanzee hybrid created by putting human sperm into a female chimpanzee. The one arguably horrific experiment was the more than 20 two-headed dogs that transplant pioneer Demikov Vladimir made. The creations during the Cold War could bark, walk, and even drink water. Some lived for almost a month and a half. The East Tennessee Theory you better have a seat on this one, because this theory could actually send you into the Upside Down. Stranger Things setting is in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana, filmed in Jackson, Georgia. A little more digging and research suggests that it was inspired by another region, East Tennessee. William Hamby, alias at WC Chamby, a Reddit user in 2016, realized that Hawkins is far too familiar to their home in East Tennessee. Most of this theory is based on the first season of the Netflix hit series, but a serious look only makes it more believable. Less than 15 minutes into the first episode, striking similarities begin to show. The first thing is the Roan County School Bus. If you don't know, there are only two counties in the entire country with that name. The first one is in West Virginia, and the other, well, you guessed it, is in East Tennessee. The fictional town where all the strange things happen, that is Hawkins, is, in fact, a county in East Tennessee. After an unsuccessful search party for Will Byers, Chief Hopper reports back saying that they had been searching all night. He also adds that they even went all the way to Cartersville. Cartersville is a community located within the town of Mount Carmel in Hawkins County, Tennessee. And the hints keep on coming. As the show goes on, Hopper is seen interviewing a witness while investigating a suicide case. When Hopper asks the witness if he had noticed any odd behavior, the witness response is one thing that is too familiar with the Tennesseans. The man's response was, No, we were fixing to go fishing down to Etowah next Sunday. Etowah is a town in Tennessee that is 54 miles to the south of Roan County. The hints don't stop in the first season. In season two, the connections continue as Bob Newby recounts a story about him coming face to face with his fears. He was referring to a balloon-wielding clown called Mr. Baldo while he was at the Roan County Fair as a child. A big chunk of the first season's plot is based on experiments being done in Hawkins National Laboratory. This is a secret government lab that is responsible for the monster-ridden clash between this universe and another. This is a darker parallel dimension that is referred to as the Upside Down. The Hawkins National Laboratory has plenty of operational and location similarities to the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. However, we may not have monsters roaming around and no portals to the Upside Down like in the movie. William Hamby claims that the Hawkins Lab can easily be substituted for Oak Ridge National Lab. However, it's a little northeast of Roan County. He goes on to state that the Oak Ridge Lab played a significant role during the Cold War, the Manhattan Project, and it is on the Roan County's border. There is also something that we could not help but notice in the show, the red dirt. The red soil is a common sight in southeastern states, except for Indiana. Lab managers told prospective transfers during the Manhattan Project that Oak Ridge, that still had no name at the time and was referred to as the Mystery City, had jobs and red earth. The secret did not last long as it was revealed to many after the Second World War. However, the Atomic Energy Commission that succeeded the Department of Energy continued with the secret of research on prison inmates and hospital patients. Based on a report by Massachusetts Congressman Ed Markey, the experiments had lasting effects on more than 600 people. The first of 18 people subjected to the experiments was a 55-year-old African-American known as Eb Cade, who was a construction worker. Eb was in good health when he checked into the Oak Ridge Research Reservation Hospital for a broken leg. Without his knowledge, he was injected with plutonium-239 by the doctors, who labeled him as Human Product 12. That was in the 1940s, and it's reported that the human radiation experiments continued into the 1970s. 
1947, a government memorandum ordered the Oak Ridge Reservation to classify its human experimentation records that were marred with irregularities. And lots of cover-ups are identical to the fictional Hawkins lab cover-up of records pertaining to the death of Barb Holland and the Upside Down creation. There are still many things that the Duffer brothers draw their inspiration from that we have not mentioned that are similar to what we see in Stranger Things. Whether you believe it or not, strange things happened and are still happening in and out of America and do not be surprised to see creatures with weird characteristics someday. Some people have come across such creatures, but because many people are skeptical about it, we'll leave it to you to decide. Are the stories real or just a fabrication? Anyway, that's it for today. Do not forget to check back tomorrow for a new and exciting video. This has been Riveted.